No, I just wanted to say that it's Tammy who has initiated this. So maybe you could just uh, sort of give a one minute intro to the idea and then I can take over uh, if, if you want um, with the case clinic, but please go ahead. Great, yeah, so, um, so I've been uh, developing a peer-to-peer -peer, um, podcast model um, and really wanting to demonstrate what it is to have uh, have us come as peers. Uh, it's interesting because because uh, when you suggested this this work to have me being focused as a case leader, initially I was like, well, what I really want to demonstrate is when we all come together as as peers, with not one person being singled out, but how do we share what it is that we all bring and then have each one help one. Um, and then I've, I've had a <laughs> quite a challenging week and, uh, and a lot of, um, a lot of activity. And so I, ha I wasn't able to really get to, get to uh, really going deep into what you had suggested until Sunday. And, uh, and then, so I'm in between. I'm like, I really would like to, to uh, experience the, uh, the, the case clinic, because I, I feel like in a sense, that's where I'm at. But also, I just want to demonstrate what it is for us to all be offering what it is that we have and do, and what help we need. So I, I've, been, I've been kind of with myself, not quite sure how to proceed, um, in part because I just didn't have the, uh, the time or focus to be able to propose it in that form. So that's my, that's my- Would you be ready to do it now with the preparation we have done or not have done? Well, we, uh, it's, it really is us. Are we prepared to come with what it is that we're working on and what it is that we need? So it's I think I would have needed to get some preparation because uh, I'm not, I don't feel called to share anything in particular right now. Okay. So but I, I think maybe we should ask Heidi and Luna what they think. So, as I said before, I didn't really know what we would be doing today because I was a little bit confused. I thought we would do the breakout groups, meet two and two, and see, uh, meet us in, uh, in this, um, know us a little better. That was the, the original uh, suggestion, no? And then was this uh, case clinic uh, thing. And now I, I thought in some way it has to do with um, the workshop you will be doing on, on, on in March and uh, in May. Uh, May is now, but uh, okay. And so I, I, at this point, I don't know. I will do whatever you do. And I, I, I offer my presence <laughs> for whatever <laughs> is there. <laughs> Yeah, and for me also the same. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been very full. Um, and so I had hoped to also prepare more. Um, but it seems that just being here is, is, is what's... Uh, what I've to... understood is that we, what Tammy says, and what sort of help we would need. Is it that? Well, what because I wasn't uh, I I wasn't prepared to prepare you all. I feel like um, I did prepare to do the case clinic, and uh, I think that it would be helpful. I just wanted okay. to put those pieces in because as I prepared, I was like, oh, okay, right. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, so maybe before we begin, Bettina, maybe we can all just do a little check-in together and uh, just so that we can really ground into the space and then you can, you can take, take it on. 
So, so have we decided yet to do the case clinic or are we still sort of sensing into what we want to do? Case clinic. No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> great. Let's do a check-in. That's a great idea. Uh, Should I, I start? <laughs> you go. You can start. Okay. So uh, it's, it's been a really full last couple of weeks, both on the personal growth front and on the busy in the world front. And uh, yeah, I, on a personal note, what I, what I discovered yesterday is that I, there's something that's, that's broken in my love taker inner function. <laughs> like I, I know that people love me, but I don't feel it. And so, um, so I, I feel like there's some function of my spiritual body that I need to open to be able to receive uh, people's love. And, and so that's also a reason why I felt motivated to be held by this group and be uh, the case giver. Okay. Great. So I can go next. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how much you know, but I haven't been working for a year now. So I have all the time in the world. And it's absolutely wonderful. And if money wasn't an issue, I would just continue. Uh, fortunately, it's not an issue yet. So I don't really think much about it. And that gives me the possibility to actually dive into whatever topic I want to, or what my soul is calling for. And um, I feel very privileged. But I also really face some things. Hi, Gertrude. Mm -hmm. We're just doing a check-in. We can't hear you, but... Uh, mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, okay, so... Um, So I feel that I'm, I'm actually plunging deeper and deeper into myself somehow. Um, and in a way that's uh, removing me from the world, or at least the world I used to be in. And uh, I haven't, the, the new world or the, the, the new way I'm going to be in the world hasn't presented itself to me and I'm really trying to only act when I feel called to act so for example over Easter I felt called to do a website called spaceholder.dk so I did that and then maybe uh, the next week I don't feel called to do anything so I don't do anything so that's how I live right now and um, yeah, I think uh, I, I think what's important for me is is still to explore um, the we space like we're doing now. I feel very very privileged to be together with you women. I feel it's ex incredibly important work we're doing, and just being here is incredibly important. Um, because I feel that we have a potential to dive into something and bring it back into the world, even though I have no clue what it is. But I just, I, I sense that it's important. And that's why I'm here. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say right now. Hey, get out. Welcome.
Hi. Hi, I just finished my last correction. No, not last. I have some questions left to talk about, but the very last correction of the correction. Oh, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> So sorry, I'm a little bit late, but it was really like, okay, now I'm done. Here you are. You can look at it. What time is it? Oh, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in a, um, I'm here in Karlsruhe that is at the Rhine River. Um, so I went here and we're with three people on one desk <laughs> correcting all 350 pages. So that's, yeah, that's where I am and not much more. So for me, it's also a new world emerging the, the time after we hand it in the book so they can produce it. Yeah, and that's, I don't know, <laughs> we'll find out. So. Not much more to say. Okay, so I go. I, in some way, like Bettina, don't have to take care for every single bite I have to, uh, I want to eat because Mark gets a little pension and you know what? America gives the wife of an American who gets a pension also a part of a pension. So I, since three months, I get an extra 500 euros. <laughs> so this drive to need to earn money is sort of, we can survive, you know, without there are a lot of taxes to pay. So I'm relieved that I can pay them now and stuff like this, you know. And this allows me to to do these things as we are doing together and to create the websites and learn how to do things for, for creating conversations. I mean, in many ways, I'm there with Tammy, I think. Creating conversations in between the people because we can call it freedom of speech or possibility of speech is so important to, to you know, only yesterday we listened to a, a talk again from Jordan Peterson and he says we need to talk also to people who don't think it like us because we are stupid and this other person maybe knows something we don't know and so we can <laughs> reduce a little bit the stupidity <laughs> in some way and I think it's a it's a wonderful concept and uh, and I so far was always the idea I have to do it all myself alone you know and I'm getting ever more into this conviction that alone I do a lot of things but and this limitation which is there and so I'm very grateful that you are here and that we are doing the, the talks with the Wisdom Factory and people come and want to talk with us and this is really <gasps> good <laughs> yeah and so my uh, not life at the moment in two days we will go to Germany for about a week and I'm taking care of all, hoping that everything goes well with the animals, with the water, you know, a little bit of these preoccupations I still have. And to come home and the house is still here <laughs> and things like that. But altogether, I'm so much better off than, let's say, when we met in January, when I was really... <laughs> Good, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about, um, I don't know, just sort of weaving what all of you shared, actually, and uh, in a place of alchemy uh, in my life. So I don't know what the next steps necessarily are. And I'm really interested in, in also moving at the pace of guidance. Um, and, and, you know, really being open to what, is present and what is wanting to appear and um and i was reading a a quote about uh, mastery and being masterful yesterday 
and uh, uh, just uh, your share, Heidi, made me made me think of that. And it was talking about the master is always open to everyone and everything. And um, yeah, it also feels really important to be here and to and to meet um, to meet and also to meet as women um, and and have conversations together. Um, so I, I feel very grateful for having been invited to be here with all of you. And, uh, and it's also been a big, a big time and a lot of personal, uh, sort of unpacking of programs that have been operating in my life for most of it. Uh, so also a really neat, uh, space to be in and that it's it's all very unknown um where i'm at right now and i I was up very late last night i'm learning how to use a new program i'm designing a proposal for a new art piece and uh i was uh yeah (laughs) sort of in the computer computer brain (laughs) it's a bit (laughs) uh, one program can do certain things and then another one can do other things and so i'm sort of you know saving in one and then loading into the next and doing <laughs> so um yeah that's kind of what I'm coming from and then a, a brief sleep to meet you all here now so um yeah that's where I'm at thank you for coming and getting up so early because of, <laughs> of me because we have the the official wisdom factory talk later in the in the in the day so it was really thank you <laughs> helpful <laughs> and thank you Bettina also for um, proposing and guiding this process so I'll, I'll leave it over to you is Bettina frozen ah uh, yeah um, so I guess she'll rejoin she lives in Denmark, there it's called. <laughs> so she is frozen. No, I don't believe that, but she will come back. Yeah. Yeah, I've been noticing the... How does it feel? I've, I've been noticing the different configurations in Zoom, the four, the five, the three, the two, uh, just how it presents on the screen. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, my internet uh, went out. It never does that, but it did today. So uh, uh, I'm back. It's okay. So. All the things who never have happened will happen one day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. But I, I heard. I think they heard just the last words of Luna, and then you all froze. So. Are you froze? <laughs> I froze. <laughs> we are in the south. We don't freeze. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course you don't. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, are we still up for doing the case clinic? Yeah. And Tammy is the case giver. Yes. So I will just uh, take your screen for two minutes to explain what's going on. And then I'll, I, I will facilitate the process, if that's okay. Thank you so much, Bettina. Great. Um, so I hope you can see it now. Yes? Yes. Good. Um, So the intent is that we listen deeply. Uh, We are not here to fix any problems, but we listen with our our whole self, our rational self, but also our image self, our soul, uh, our feelings. Um, So we try to tune into as big a field as we can while we listen. And in theory, you, they call, call it open mind, open heart, open will. Uh, and that's basically to suspend judgments and fear and cynicism and really just be present. Uh, so we are sort of holding space for Tammy. Um, and then the idea is that Tammy will start by uh, giving an intention statement. Uh, and that shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. Uh, and in principle, we prefer that you are silent during those 15 minutes, 
But if you, if there's something you don't understand, you can ask clarifying questions. But other than that, you, if you get ideas or if you want to comment, uh, write it down for yourself and don't uh, bother the field with it. Uh, just try to be present and let go of any of your agendas. And then uh, we will have three minutes of silence where you connect to your heart and sort of process uh, with an open mind, open heart and open will what uh, the intention statement from Tammy uh, sort of ar arose in you. And then we have a 10 minute, what we call mirroring. And that's a sort of feedback round to Tammy where we get, we are now four feedbackers so we can get two minutes each. Uh, but it's not like traditional feedback where we tell, where we give, we don't give advice or we don't tell Tammy what we think she should do or stuff like that. We only explain uh, what arose in us when she told her intention. Um, so it will be uh, feelings, images, gestures, um, and it doesn't have to make sense because maybe it makes sense to Tammy. And it doesn't make sense to us. So we are, we are trying to be channels. Um, and then the last two minutes, Tamis will reflect back what uh, our feedback uh, gave her. And then we close off with a 20 minute generative dialogue where it's, it's more an open dialogue like we usually have, where people can take the word when they want to. But we all remember that we are here to support Tammy and Tammy's intention. So every time we talk, we speak from that intention. And, um, and we also mind the time that not one person is talking all the time and so on. So we try to give space and it's okay if there's silence uh, in between. And then we have sort of a closing round to, to uh, sort of close off and it can be a very good idea uh, if we take time for a couple of minutes in the end to uh, to write down insights and that can both be for Tammy and for us because actually we might actually also learn something from the process um, this whole process takes about 70 minutes so I just want to check if everyone can stay until a quarter to what is it now? It's half past four. So it's a quarter to six in our time. What is that in your time? Quarter to nine? Okay, good. So uh, I'll take this screen back. And uh, let's just start. I, I have to say that I don't know if I have to, to leave earlier. So um, I let you know. It would be good if you uh, sort of if you leave in in one of the intermissions, so that Sammy doesn't Sammy doesn't feel that you leave her. Yeah. So uh, yeah. just be mindful of that. But I need to say it up front. So sure, good. No intention to leave you. <laughs> no, no, good. So we know that. Okay, so I suggest we start with one minute of. Um, sort of silence uh, if you meditate you can meditate but sort of really become present and and uh, tune into a bigger field where it's not your ego who's running the show it's soul and spirit
Okay. And um, then I just want to ask Tammy, uh, do you want, uh, there's five questions we would like you to, to answer. Current situation, uh, who are the stakeholders? What is the future you want to create? Uh, do you have a learning threshold, something you need to let go of? And what do you need help from? Do you want me to time it so that I give you three minutes for each? Or do you just want to, uh, to go uh, for 15 minutes? I think I'll just flow. Yeah. Great. Uh, with maybe so, yeah. The floor is yours. Okay. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, uh, first of all, thank you all of you so much for being here to hold space and to be in uh, this process and for collaborating, Bettina, Bettina, for bringing what you have because this is deeply demonstrating uh, the, my purpose, my yearning, my calling. And so I just am so deeply appreciative to each one of you for showing up and for uh, becoming present with this process together. <clears throat> um, so my current situation is that um, I've, been, I've been working to birth a enormous, huge, vision that spirit has shown me for the last 17 years and i've been experiencing uh, birthing pains and um and it's been difficult for me to articulate it because it is so uh, it's so close to what reality is, and yet reality isn't quite there yet at the same time. So <clears throat> um, the, the vision is really about us having deep and real conversations about the state of the world and the state of us to be able to understand what is happening together and to work together to figure out how we can transition and how we can move from <clears throat> the very challenging uh, state of the world today to a, uh, a change in paradigms, a shift in paradigms. So, <clears throat> Um, my, yeah, my challenge has been really articulating and demonstrating that because it is so close to what reality is. I'm just suggesting we record it and that we share it with specific other people to be able to gain engagement. And I feel like we've lost Heidi. She might drop and come back <laughs> because I don't think she's staying like this. <laughs> Just noticing the field. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of articulating it, really it's about us owning our own voice and our presence and coming together to make media that is a representation of our voice and our image and really understanding that we're in control of how it is that we choose to both be in that presence and so how and who we show up as, as well as our collective presence together and what we might choose to do with that media when it's, when it's created. So there's this kind of through line of intention that needs to be clarified uh, for people before they can really know how to participate. And so I've been in this place of needing to articulate it, but needing to articulate and demonstrate it in the process and feeling like I'm holding too many of the pieces. And I, so it's, and that's a part of the birthing process. Um, 
<clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, one of my challenges has been holding, holding the confidence to demonstrate it <laughs> and, uh, and to demonstrate that space of shared leadership, of collective guidance and really not knowing um, because you can't know. It's, we all need to show up and decide together in this emergent kind of space. And, and what I've also needed is, is you guys, people to demonstrate it with, people to be with who understand that it's tender and it's exciting and we don't really know where it might go. But we can feel when it feels right. So I'm looking to build my capacity to sense and in, in shared presence what's next and what is here. Uh, so in terms of, of stakeholders, um, when, I, when I read it, I kind of came from a little bit of a different perspective. So I don't know if this works, but I'll just go with what I was feeling into. Um, one of the challenges I have is that it feels like, because I'm articulating it, it feels like it's perceived as my thing, but it's not at all my thing. It is, you know, something that I'm yearning for and it burns in my heart and I need to articulate it and birth it, but it is not my thing. It is, I feel the evolution of our consciousness and the evolution of our collective way of being together. <clears throat> and um, for me, fear comes up because I feel like we're trained that we're not enough just as we are. And we're not we're not um, shown that we can be imperfect <laughs> and that that's maybe just perfect <laughs> so that we can see that and we can see those places where we all have challenges and help each other to, to be held still and loved in that place. <laughs> and and there is, in, in that vulnerability, I believe there's a really potent power because it really, it demonstrates that humility that we don't know, <laughs> even though we know. <laughs> it's that beautiful kind of paradox. <laughs> and... On the flip side of that, there's that people actually do get it. <laughs> you know, I can feel you feeling me and knowing your own self that these are the pathways through in a, in a sense. Um, and that it is exciting for us to be able to show up with what we have and shine our light and walk into this emergent space together that that there's something very special that we're walking into as we as we link and join and connect and be together um so the 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 vision that i have for the for the future that i hold that i'm experiencing inside of me that i'm excited to experience with all of you is is this new space very old space likely of storytelling and of sharing um, the world that we want to create together and the world that we are creating whether we're consciously creating it or whether we're we don't take the courage to say what we think or really live our true highest vision um, and 
I believe that this is the currency of the future. This kind of way of sharing who we are and what we do. Uh, and that there is this currency of attention. All of you are investing an hour and a half of your time. That is of value. It's of deep value to me. And it's, I think, of deep value to the world and the field to invest ourselves in each other and to hold each other up. And that the shared future that emerges between us is, I think, worth way more than we know <laughs> and has a, has a value that has uh, so many different dimensions of value from the personal of just being seen and held and loved and appreciated and given that focused attention. Like, that's a huge value to me. Like, the healing that I'm feeling right now is beautiful. And then there's all of the realizations that we can make together through the rest of this call as we continue to share and reflect. And then there's further value if we choose to share this. And then what happens when other people are touched by it and say, oh my gosh, that's so easy. We could just talk together and care about and support what each other are looking to do and be. Um, what I need to let go of is my frustration that it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> And the recognition that it is happening all at the same beautiful paradox time. <laughs> and I need to, <coughs> excuse me, I need to let go of my own, my own fear and uncertainty. Um, and I feel like one of the things that's really just held me back for all of this time is a little sliver of doubt. And that little, that little doubt dude has just dogged me so much. And <clears throat> it's, uh, it's very painful because I know it just comes from inside of me. And only I can change it. So, so um, the help that I need is just in demonstrating it and being here in testing different models and testing the space and in, in being here and uh, in in, I, I have, there's some other help though, actually, because when I got to help, I was like, hmm, demonstrating it. But then there's some really specific parts that I'd love some feedback on. Like I've created one of the key pieces that this work sits on is an insight around the fact that, that we have the power to own our own voice. And that's merely a state, a, a shift in our thinking. You know, how much user-generated content is out there, none of that is necessarily intentionally created in this space where we own our own voice, we say what it is that we choose to say intentionally, and then we choose to share it or not. But I'm suggesting that that's a very conscious process. And so I've created a set of, of uh, collaboration and sharing agreements because it's really meaningful in a group like this, that, you know, if I were to say something that I actually didn't feel wanted to be released to the public, uh, I want to be able to say, no, I'm not ready to give that to the world. And, you know, for me, part of what I think we need to do is slow down our, um, slow down our, um, this process 
and uh, and think through each of the stages. So that would be useful. Are we at 15 minutes? 40 seconds. Great. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm, that's, that's pretty complete. Wonderful. Okay. So now we sit in silence for three minutes and we uh, sit with what, uh, what Tammy shared and we listen to our hearts. We really connect to our hearts and uh, listen to what it's saying. Does, and then you listen to whatever feelings or images or metaphors or gestures come up that can capture that. And um, see you again in three minutes. Yes. And now we take two minutes each to explain what images and feelings and metaphors we can offer as a feedback to Tammy without fixing or giving advice. Who wants to start? I can do so. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, I haven't made up my mind, so I don't know what words will come out. <laughs> so, um, but the first thing that popped up was women matters and word matter, words matters. So, like, maybe there is only the word out there that we create with words or at the beginning there was the word all all these a lot of metaphors and thoughts and um yeah i, I was looking out in the garden and the houses in here and would they first there was this this thing in the head and or in the heart and images and then actions came out of so to to have this as if like us to to treat them like sacred things to the words to be with those and and really create that world that we long for. Be careful with our words and to see the power that they create or that they have to create. So, there was always this powerful thing <laughs> of words yeah. who wants to go next well i can go next um I was so enthusiastic because I share much of the same dream. So I really felt, oh, a fellow soul. And I realized that I really had to step back because uh, so that I don't um, get my own stuff involved in it because I'm so close to it. I have all my own dreams and passions and yearnings. So I really tried to step back. And I felt the the sort of the warm warmth and the the light of this vision, like this is something that is absolutely doable. And I could really feel how you had the energy and the strength to to do it. So it's it's within reach. And then I also felt a little bit something heavy i'm kinesthetic so i feel stuff so i could feel when you said the doubt dude i love that expression <laughs> um because and that is my own stuff uh, but i know for myself when when i don't meet people who understand my vision after a while i start doubting and i don't know i sort of sense that this was maybe what was going on in you that you've had this vision and this yearning for so long and no one sort of grabbed it or you know it's like this child running over a field and no one wants to play so you stop and where are everybody there was a lot and now they're gone um so i i also sense that sort of heavy or not very heavy but like uh and you said yourself you wanted to let go of the frustration so this was my my thoughts and feelings. So I might try again and hopefully I won't fall out again. <laughs> um, when Tammy shared, I was in a, in a very much um, vibrating, heart beating space. And it is um, 
a mixture between fear and expectations and you know like child before christmas something like this something like oh, there is something you know and even when i say it now i get these little drugs <laughs> here yeah. and then um it, this kept on all the time and i first had the eyes open to to see go into my body and when i closed the eyes then i i had a vision of expansion there was no, nothing what i saw but only it was the feeling of of getting bigger and bigger of something what whoever it was and then it, there came in my mind and said oh the doubt and don't get rid of your doubt because and then the other said yeah i would like to be free with doubt of doubt and i would like to blah blah so all these voices came into me and 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 were commenting on what you are saying and i felt a headache arising so this battle between ideas and what should be and what should not be yeah uh, that that was uh, really this is what's heavy i i could say that is heavy with uh, words of bettina and i was left with a sort of feeling of possibility huge possibility but not really know how to to handle it how to where exactly to go how to go not not so much where but how to go in a, in the direction which can be there with even without with a doubt you know and how we can do that together so luna mm -hmm. Can we hear you? Oh, we lost Luna. It How seems to be a, a, a joke of the universe. Whoever yes. wants to speak for us. <laughs> that is our challenge to surrender to technology. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so my internet also went a little unstable. And I'd like to wait until Luna comes back to share my two minutes. Are we okay for that? Yeah, we can wait for a minute and then we think we should go on. I think we should probably move on and then hopefully she will come in for the next round. Good. So is that okay? Yes. So for me, um, I, it's, it's so powerful to have you all channel the different parts. I, uh, Gertrude, what you mentioned about words, um, one of the pieces that I, one of the sacred gifts that I have is about the alphabet code and about uh, a, a series of understandings around language um, that I perceived about in 2000. And so I've been, I've been, uh, yes, I mean, the, in the beginning was the word and the word creates our world. And so that's one piece. Um, but and to feel Bettina and Heidi, both of you especially, really feeling that interconnection with with this work and holding that doubt and excitement and uh, those pieces together, it feels really powerful to just be in the journey with 
in it, doing it, in presence. And it feels like it's just incorporating so much of the work with a capital W. So I'm really grateful to all of you. Yeah, yeah you still have 20 seconds. I do. Okay, well, uh, I, uh, I'm a little disappointed if that- If you want it. Yeah, I'm okay. I think I'm complete. Yeah, it was too bad that Luna disappeared, but I guess we can't really help help it. Sounds like more. Oh, she's coming back! Is. Great. That sounded like more. That's me. <laughs> Luna, you're back. We can't hear you. Not quite yet. Um, so you're not muted. I think you're good now. Do you want to test saying something, Luna? Test, test. Yes. Hello. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to go for two minutes? Yeah, I would love to. I'm sorry about the, the timing. <laughs> it's not your fault. No. Okay, so uh, it was really interesting, actually, because um, it's sort of, I sent a, a text to Tammy and I said lost power <laughs> and I and then I sort of started feeling that and connecting to the visions that I'd had and the thoughts that I'd had while you were sharing Tammy and I was sort of thinking about this um, like the exhale or the release um, of of power it, to become empowered and so um, that feels really strong. I had some really strong images and, uh, and also a really beautiful experience just listening to you share and feeling the sense of you catching up with the presence of now and sort of having this space within me saying, okay, are we, are we doing it now? Are we doing it, Tammy? This is it. <laughs> are, we, are we doing it right? Are we, you know? <laughs> what is this new language? Um, and when you were sharing, uh, when you spoke of the doubt dude, uh, I also, I, I sort of had, uh, I had this image and it was this image of, the form being um, the form being enveloped by the vehicle, and then when we went into our meditation, I had all of the images that I had were the vehicle being enveloped by the form. So maybe I just want to let that sit. Um, but some of the, the vehicles were, um, were in the natural realm. I also had, I just want to share one more thing, which is sort of this, um, I also experienced a headache and a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure around my head and tension, but also my heart felt quite open, but I felt, I saw a pin inside my head, like a big pin and then a reflection of my own self. And it felt like this pin was being removed. And so the words that came were to remove the pressure from without so that the power from within can emerge. Great, thanks. Um, while we were waiting, we gave Tammy her reflection time. So I think to, to be sort of mindful of the time, I will just uh, move on. On this time, it just needs 10 seconds to say something. Yeah, just thank you so much, Luna. There's a lot of meaning in there. And I look forward to having that weave into the conversation part. Yeah. Great. So now we dive into the generative dialogue, uh, which is actually what we usually do when we meet. Um, 
So we still are mindful to Tammy's vision and intention. We are here for Tammy. But at the same time, we all have a dialogue about uh, Tammy's vision and what she needed help for. And we build on each other's ideas and we really try to tune into the joint field. So it's not about me presenting my solution. It's about us tapping into the greater field and channel whatever wants to emerge. So go ahead, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, it's, <clears throat> I'm just trying to drop into <clears throat> a coherent, a coherence with everything that we've shared, um, and also drop in that today I'm, today I'm pitching my idea to an ethics panel and uh through the the uh there's a alternative business school that i'm in and so um so you know this this birthing is can is continuing and And what you were sharing, Luna, it's interesting because there's this thing between, like, there's this present moment and coming into the now. So I just brought us into the future. In eight hours' time, I'll be doing that. And I felt in that moment that I went off. So I'm just noticing that and that the it is being present with emergence. Mm. I really feel it's such a pregnant energy, such a full energy right now. I feel very present, very excited. And I, I really feel that the Tao dude has left the building. It's, he's not here right now. <laughs> I don't feel him. <laughs> I really feel the... The potential and the the, the fertile fertile soil, um, and it's a lovely space to be in, and I'm happy to be invited. I feel this space too very strongly, and at the same time a loss, not a loss, a lack of words. I don't really know. I, I, I know there might be somewhere the words, but they are not yet coming to me. So just letting you know. I'm, I'm really enjoying the sort of <clears throat> the sharing of, 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 the word words and they're not being words and uh, this sort of liminal space we can drop into together and this birth thing and also it's sort of Tammy being the mother of, of an alphabet, an alphabet code um, and just sort of something playful and enjoying those uh, crossovers of knowing you Tammy and and seeing you now in the space. Very beautiful. So perhaps I'll demonstrate the alphabet co code through doing words as a word just to be interesting <clears throat> so the w kind of identifies the entire word and 
I'll use words with an S. Uh, and it's, so it's a five letter word and has a resonate. So that resonates with a higher, <clears throat> higher level of spiritual development on, as a human. Uh, <clears throat> and the, the letter that sits there is W, which means an openness to a greater understanding. And O means that you're constraining it. You're putting some boundaries around it, like the world. Um, R is activating. D is the foundational laws of the universe. And S is connecting. So as a word, words means openness to the greater understanding in the world and activating the foundational laws and connecting words. Beautiful. <laughs> this is a little strange now. I fell out of, of the space by this explanation because I immediately thought, how is it in German? And this is only one language. And how can you do all this? Uh, deductions and interpretations on it. And so I was completely in a different space <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> okay. When you said that, um, I thought the first three letters are the same. Volte. So it's <laughs> O, the R, and then we hear T and E. So I thought, I want to know that as well. <laughs> okay, so T, so open it. Yeah. So T is presence. Uh, and E is love. I take that. <laughs> and in Danish, it's only O-R-D. And it's the same for one word and for two. Okay, so the world or the boundaries around the parameters of activating the natural laws of the universe. Hmm. And it's a beautiful mystery to discover uh, the, how it interlocks with other languages. And it, I, I, it, for me, it's something I perceived. It's not something I created. And so the next step with that work is to, is to just explore it with others and go on a journey of, of discovery and recovery and understanding. So can I ask you, how does the alphabet code uh, link to, because you didn't mention it when you uh, said your intention statement. So, so in, I can hear that it, it's linked when you talk about it, but I just don't see, so how are they linked? the vision you have of dialogue and engagement with the alphabet code. Do they need each other or? I think so. Um, and I'm trying to fig, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, because in, on, on the one hand, there's the practices of, of communicating and creating um, shared understanding and, and media that we can share to further our work. And then there is, the alphabet code, what I feel that it is, is on one hand, it's a, it's a way to be able to develop your consciousness. If you were to take it from the first letter to the last, it's a progression of human development in a spiritual sense. And it points to our spiritual purpose. So when we break it into words, it, it illuminates the spiritual purpose that informs the words. And... So therefore it gives us a pathway to be able to understand our collective purpose, both on an individual place, which is more where I've been working from. But where I feel it's really exciting is where, is where we experience what the words that hold m quite a lot of meaning for us is in the alphabet code to be able to point us to our purpose in a in a uh, generative 
learning, co-learning way of insight. So it's, it, it, it feels like uh, when I had the original, you know, soul emergence, when I, I received a lot of information, um, the alphabet code was one piece of it. And this other work was another piece and I'm still integrating and weaving what it is. And, and that's part of where I need help is in being able to explore it with people and see what emerges. So is it a sort of foundation? Do, would I need to learn the alphabet code in order to engage in dialogue with you? I think that, that, um, it's a process of, of sharing. So uh, in the conversational experiments, I shared it and one of the participants, Harry Vanderveld, took it and put it into an infographic that's really awesome and easy. Uh, so I have that as a kind of a helper, um, but it is quite a deep uh, series of understandings. So there is a download process um, and then you can just decode at will. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking of um, words that really matter and like numerology goes with the, our birth uh, names yeah. so that are on our birth certificate. So I wonder if to start there would be a good idea to start with the words that have been used mostly or addressed to us and and then there was this this thought of it could be a good idea to to learn it to to know it <laughs> and it's the same space to tap in that could give other information. So if we are in that space, maybe it's not so important which method, which whatever, but to come from there and then find the words and, and really speak from there, not to... to to have a heavy burden uh, uh, connotation with the words, but this, that the words are infused by that space. Does that, does that make any sense? But, so, I, I, for me, there is like, when I was working with uh, gemstones a lot, I took those books that I had, not literally, but like poems, read them like poems to inspire myself by what they mean and what they are for. And not to say, okay, this is like, <laughs> this is the remedy for this and you have to do it like this. This puts too much, yeah. The, there comes a density with it. And the other one is like, wow, what possibilities. And you, you have been given this gift, somebody else, another one, and let's share and, and let's see that. Yes. So just to tag onto that and answer your question more clearly, Bettina, I think that the alphabet code is an example of something that can be explored in this we space. And it is a little... It's heavy, it's dense, but it's also full of light. <laughs> um, and, uh, but it's the we space that if I, if I just push forward with the alphabet code, I feel like I'll miss the opportunity to truly create something with others that can hold us all. Yeah, and here I would offer a sort of a meta uh, observation. I feel really being fallen out of the space which we had created before. It was much more deep and much more dense in my perception. And as soon as we talk about theoretical blah, blah, 
it's, 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 you know, like dreams in the morning. You hardly uh, remember them, but when you get a piece, then you, they open up. And I, I sort of have lost the piece of, of, uh, of the field we had created at the moment. I don't know how it is for you, but I just wanted to tell you how it is for me. Uh, I, w I wanted to say I feel that also, but I also feel okay. that it's perfect. <laughs> because I think that that is the challenge in, in the work. Um, and also the, the bringing up of our different languages, which is something that I asked Tammy about with this work as well. And it's so beautiful that we are all here and that we speak different languages also. Um, and what that means. Mm hmm yeah. And, yeah, and it's interesting because I just felt it shifted and I tried to expand my energy because I really liked the, 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 the other energy we had was so comfortable and so nourishing and there was no blockage or no barriers. And with the new energy, there was more to hold space for for me. And there was more like, oh, there's a part of me who's not included. And so I just try to expand my energy and be more curious. So it's a different energy where I'm more curious and more observing and it, probably not so heartfelt. But as, as Luna said, I really feel that, you know, this is real. <laughs> this <laughs> is what happens in a real conversation. So I feel that we are... Uh, sort of a very loving, safe space demonstration of what goes on in, in, you know, in dialogue. So I feel that we are in the middle of it and it's precious. When I talked about it, I didn't want to give any evaluation or any a uh, good or bad thing to it, just a remark, and I was wondering if you felt similar. Yeah, it is, it's, it's interesting to be, uh, there's a couple of times I've noticed I've gone out of presence into, into something, and sitting with and being with is the powerful piece. And so I invite us to come back into the heart and sit with and be with. I feel a lot of courage in this group. I feel that we are present and courageous enough to explain our truth right now. And I feel incredibly grateful to be here with you, all of you. I feel this, I don't know if that's what Tammy meant, but this is, this is the manifestation for me. So I would be curious, I guess, what Tammy feels. Mm. Yes, I definitely feel this is it. And uh, there's something that is present here between us that is connected and feels like one, one multidimensional body that is, is weaving and includes every one of us. So when I came in with the alphabet code, it became this. And so it's, it's, it's actually this we space where we are connected in our hearts and I can, we can all feel each other. That is the demonstration. Wow, it's really, it's really powerful to experience that contrast with all of you. I'm really feeling um, the challenge of sort of um, birthing and 
perhaps the reflection, Tammy, of, well, this is your thing. <laughs> and, and then feeling that contrast of really actually not trying to understand it um, logically, but to feel the contrast with all of you of, of the we space. It's a real felt thing. Yeah, that was contrast that was powerful. I just have this, like, what is birthing? It's like in the womb, it's warm. So, and then you go through this very narrow thing, and then it becomes big, open again. <laughs> so, that's what it feels like here. The time is up. <laughs> So <laughs> my suggestion is that we take one minute each and we close off with Tammy. So one minute to uh, sort of uh, just have some closing remarks, whatever is present with you right now. Uh, feel free to share it. Who wants to go first? I can go first. I found it very, how can I say, exciting. You know, uh, in German we would say atemberaubend in some way. It's like, you know, um, a very, very intense experience. Thank you. Which we cannot do alone. <laughs> no way. And not by reading books or watching, I don't know what. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me and with us. <laughs> mm. Okay. Next person. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of the word that a, a friend of mine created. It's amazing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've, I don't find many words for that. What that is. But I think this, this, um, Movement comes closest to what I feel. Yeah, and thank you so much. It's, uh, I love to have you. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, thank you. And thanks for sharing. You or me, Luna? Maybe, maybe I'll go just because I'm practicing not going last. <laughs> okay. Which is also a gift. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, feeling of, of um, being touched by grace. Allowing, allowing grace to touch me. Uh, allowing not knowing. Permission to not know. Really, really big mm -hmm. yeah. it's important we create space for that <laughs> yeah. feeling a lot of gratitude thank you for sharing your gifts Tammy yeah and thank you for this process also really powerful process mm -hmm. I felt like a really safe container. The the knowing of the um, the parameters and then the, the freedom within that. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll go. I feel incredibly excited and happy and warm and met and in my element <laughs> and um, 
Yes, I just think it's fantastic that we have met. And um, thank you for each and every one of us for what we have brought to this and for being present. And um, it really gives me hope, you know, when we can, when we can be uh, our own little five piece whole on organism uh, who can create this. This is a, uh, this is a testament to what the what the human race is capable of. Uh, so we are in a mini format, expressing something that is possible on a much bigger scale. And I, I love that we can do that and practice together. And um, yeah, so I'm just so happy and grateful. Thank you. And your timing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this has really been a birthing. It has, you know, Gertrude, I love that, you know, I feel that this moment, these, us together, I've needed to be, it not be me birthing, but rather us birthing. And that feels, I'm so grateful. And it feels like something has moved into right relationship in our session today. And so I just have such gr deep gratitude for each of you for bringing all you have been and all that you are in the present moment to help to help us to demonstrate this state of beingness where we can help each other. And it's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, the last two minutes, I invite you all to write down what you uh, take with you. You don't have to share that with anybody. But just before we close off uh, and leave each other, uh, just write down for two minutes uh, what you want to remember. Uh, because maybe there are some insights that are forgive, forgotten if we just continue. So two minutes reflection time. So, the process has ended. It's free speech. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for suggesting it in the first place. Um, so, Gertrude mentioned on the chat um, that uh, she would love to do um, the Ascension 
numerology process. So that's our birth numbers. I would love to do that. That would be really neat to see and feel who we all are in that. And I'm absolutely excited and stoked and happy to do the alphabet code with each of your names as well. Oh, uh, that's right. We can't hear. Okay. There you go. You're unmuted. So it's better you write it in an email because uh, when we close this, then it's gone. Yeah. Of course. So, yeah. So. Can you can you take the Danish letters? We have three letters. You don't. Uh, yeah. Just type it in, and we'll, they. Um, it's a. It's kind of um, easy because they they take out the umlaut and everything. So. Okay. Just just write it down and I'll see. <laughs> and in terms of the alphabet code, Bettina, I'm really curious to to learn Danish so I can maybe maybe the information will come between us of what it might be. Can you present that visual? Yes, I will. And I would remind you that we have a Slack channel and we can put everything there so we don't yeah, have hundred and thousand emails. Okay, that's, that's okay too, but not here because then it's gone. Okay. Yeah, okay. Great. But so I, I need the, the name that is written on the birth certificate, not your whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> name you got married or whatever. Yeah. Um, or you yeah. like or you changed, but, uh, yeah. but the one exactly like it's written and the birth date okay. fully. Yeah, so and then you, I, I will uh, give you a chart. So I, there is a chart that I fill it in, um, and then we can talk about it. Uh, I wonder if we can just really close with a final appreciation round, just to have that completion. Um, I'm just so grateful that all of you have come together for this and have held such a beautiful container and bring all of your knowledge and wisdom and self selves. Um, and it's just really beautiful to be in and be with and thank you so much. I'm wondering to find some different words for that, but sort of they are the same. So <laughs> thank you <laughs> very much. I also feel just complete, and I think the only word I would add is love. <laughs> I feel love. And I thought, isn't birthing something like coming from causal to subtle and gross state of consciousness? So to, <laughs> and then expand again. So I'm very, very grateful for this. Yeah, and the, the different energies to, to, to notice in the words we speak <laughs> and uh yeah and i love you girls <laughs> it's, really, it's i'm i'm really happy to to have known you and i'm very grateful and today i just <laughs> i just um corrected the the story about unity and diversity and at the end, I said, uh, many things came out of this, including Women Matters, a broadcast. So, yeah. So that's in the book. <laughs> we are in the book. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm.
Mm. <laughs> Bird Hellinger talks about this, um, <clears throat> about being in soul in the way that we, t- we speak about being in love. And I'm, I'm sort of getting like a, a felt experience of that. In this, which is really beautiful. Hmm. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm just so absolutely grateful for this. And um, I'm curious, I, I'll share this with everyone. And I'm curious if we want to, if, if uh, we want to share it more broadly. Uh, and, uh, if so, where? So maybe we can think into that and chat about that on the Slack. Good idea. Wonderful. And then we meet in a month or? Uh, the 23rd, I think. The 23rd is the workshop you are leading, no? Yes, yes. Okay. So we'll see each other. And it will be a similar process to this. Um, the only thing is that, uh, oh, we missed Luna. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, if you could before, prepare like Tammy did. But prepare, what does flocking, human flocking, conscious human flocking mean to me? And then prepare a two-minute presentation. I'll just say it again once we... Yes, we have Luna back. I was just (laughs) saying that uh, if you could prepare before the workshop, uh, what is conscious human flocking to you? And present it uh, for two minutes. We get each two minutes on the workshop. Okay. And if you want to share something before, you just share it in the Slack and send links and so on, because we actually need a pre phase where we, uh, we uh, research. And then the workshop is sort of more the presencing. So, um, yeah, well, that's it. And the workshop is going to be broadcasted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Today. Yeah. No. That that's uh, through Heidi's normal. Uh, I, I think we lost Heidi now. Oh but no! I'm here. Oh, oh yeah. It's just uh, you, your picture froze. But. Ah, okay. So and I would like, if you uh, agree, but we can talk about it to to write a blog post in the Wisdom Factory and put it in the archive section of Women Matters. The the video. Yes. Would be yes. good. That would be wonderful. You must send it, uh, or you you need to upload it in and send me the link. So I will. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Thank Good. you. It was lovely. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Until next time. Yeah. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye.